what is normal sperm motility what is low sperm motility and what are the causes of low sperm motility in this video let's go over what is sperm motility how it affects the chances of conception what is considered normal and low sperm motility what causes low sperm motility and lastly what are some treatment options that are available for low sperm motility A semen analysis is a basic diagnostic test to assess male fertility. As part of semen analysis, three major parameters of sperm are analyzed, which includes sperm count, which is the number or concentration of sperms, sperm morphology, which is the shape or structure of the sperm, and the third parameter being sperm motility. Discussing sperm motility. So what is sperm motility and why is it important? Sperm motility is the ability of sperm to move efficiently. This is important for fertility because sperm need to move through the woman's reproductive tract in order to reach and fertilize the egg. If sperms do not have good motility, it will be difficult for sperms to reach the egg in the fallopian tube and therefore be unable to successfully achieve fertilization. So what is normal sperm motility and what is classified as low sperm motility? Based on World Health Organization 2010 guidelines for semen analysis, sperm motility is considered normal if 40% of sperms showcase motility, being the ability of sperms to move. Also, from those that are motile, 32% should have progressive motility, meaning that these sperms should be able to move forward in a straight path or manner rather than moving in place or in a circular motion. Below this range of percentage total motility or percentage progressive motility, it is referred to as low sperm motility or what is termed as asthenozoospermia. So what causes low sperm motility or asthenozoospermia? Low sperm motility can be caused by testicular trauma or injury. Advanced age as there is a significant decrease in motility after 45 years of age. It can be caused by genetics, lifestyle factors such as nutrition, cigarette smoking, excessive consumption of alcohol or other drugs such as marijuana, etc. It can be observed in men with varicocele, a condition of enlarged veins in the scrotum. Other causes can be stress, environmental exposure to toxic agents, as well as underlying health conditions which can also influence sperm motility. So what are the treatment options for low sperm motility? If a couple is having trouble conceiving due to low sperm motility, depending upon the cause, certain medications can be given to improve sperm motility, such as Clomid or Clomiphene medication for the male, or supplementation of various combinations of vitamins and minerals. In some cases, this can be effective. However, it's still not very clear as to whether these methods significantly improve pregnancy rates. Most successful treatment options include assisted reproductive technologies, intrauterine insemination or IUI, in which the semen sample is prepared to isolate motile sperms which are then deposited in the uterus around the time of female ovulation to minimize the journey of the sperm in order to reach and fertilize the egg. Normally, this is the first line of treatment. And for men with otherwise fairly normal semen parameters, but motility in the 30 to 40% range, IUI might be successful in achieving pregnancy. Several attempts of IUI have also been unsuccessful that in vitro fertilization treatment may be recommended. Using conventional insemination, if total motile sperm count is usually 10 million or more, which eggs and sperms are added together in a laboratory petri dish to achieve fertilization. However, if very low sperm motility, then in vitro fertilization utilizing an advanced technique called intracytoplasmic sperm injection is used where a single sperm is directly injected into an egg. In vitro fertilization with intracytoplasmic sperm injection is a highly successful treatment for male infertility. Fertilization can usually be obtained in 70 to 90% of eggs on average. This is regardless of the percentage of sperm motility or the count for ICSI. As long as we can find at least one normal motile sperm in the specimen for each egg to be injected with ICSI. Thank you for watching till the end. Consider subscribing to the channel if you found this useful. The most commonly asked questions concerning low sperm motility will be answered in the description. If you have any questions, please comment below and I would be happy to answer them.